I'm a married woman with two kids. I started doing hookup business. Please don't condemn me. I'm into hookup. And that's where the whole problem started in my family. I didn't start this hookup as a single lady. I didn't even start it when I got married to my husband. Even after my first and my second child, I didn't start. You were not doing hookup before? I was not doing hookup before. You just started it when you get married to your husband? Yes. As, as a mother... Is it like you are sleeping out or you are doing hookup? I went into hookup. There's a situation, a situation that make me to go into that hookup. I What's up, guys? It's your girl, Nehe, baby. So, guys, today... I have a woman here by my side. The woman contacted me that she likes this platform, what we are doing here, that she would like to share her own story for people to advise her. So, guys, please, let's listen to her. And please, I'm begging you guys, let's advise her because already people have started seeing this platform um, as where they get solution to their problem or the good advice. And when they go for it, it favors them. If not, they will not continue coming. All right, please, I'm begging you guys, let's help this woman like we are doing before. Okay, man, no mention your name. Just like I told you, go straight to the point, the reason why you contacted me. Hello, my brothers and sisters. I'm here this afternoon because I have a serious problem that is choking me right now. It's really choking me as in to the extent that I don't know what to do and I don't know where to go again. Please, I'm here because to bring out this so that I need advice. Because the junction I am right now, I don't know the step to take, either to take my right or to take my left. I'm here right now because I need that advice. Because I've listened to I've, I've listened to this woman program. She gave people solution. That's why I'm here. Please don't condemn me. Please just give me your advice. As you listen to my story, please. Thank you. I'm a married woman with two kids, a boy and a girl. And my husband used to do well. I said this hookup, I, I, I started doing hookup business. Please don't condemn me. I'm into hookup. And that's where the whole problem started in my family. I didn't start this hookup as a single lady. I didn't even start it when I got married to my husband. Even after my first and my second child, I didn't start. You were not doing hookup before? I was not doing hookup before. You just started it when you get married to your husband? Yes, because when my husband has an issue in his company, he lost his job. We tried to manage, manage, manage. It was not going. The children were out of school. No food, nothing. You know, as, as a mother... Is it like you are sleeping out or you are doing hookup? I went into hookup. There's a situation, a situation that make me to go into that hookup. That's why I'm trying to explain as so that people can help me. So there's this, there's this uh, when we, everything, all hope was lost, nowhere for me to go to, and there's nobody for me to go and meet. I advised my so I there's this, there's this uh, my husband friend that normally help my family. So I got to him, I explained to him, start helping us, giving me money. But this help is not like uh, just ordinary help like that. There's something. He collects before he helped me, my family, which my husband is not aware about. I wish I'm doing this so that to help the family. But I, have, I, I go to this man, he helps my family, he give me, gives me money. I take care of my family. I, he sleeps with me. Hey. He have an hour with me. So anytime he gives me money, he gives me enough money to take care of my family. But the issue there is that anytime at his own will, he calls me because he wants to have his way with me. I cannot say no because there's no money. There's no way, other way I can go. And, and this man is somebody that knows my husband. My husband knows him. My husband respects him very well. My husband takes advice from him. But I don't know what else to do. But the situation is like, what, what is really going on? I like, this man wants to be, become a lord over my life. He controls me at his will. He, he, anytime he needs me, he wants me, want me to be appeared. He wants me to, even if he wants to spend the night with me, he asks me to light my husband. I'm going to my family place, or I'm going to church. I wish I would do just to please him so I can get the money to take care of my family. This thing continues like that. To the extent that I don't really have, I don't, I don't have a life of my own again. It's like this man wants to become, even take over the place of my husband. And my husband still go to this man, take advice from him. I know somebody that is ready to help my husband because what he's getting from me. I became so frustrated. And I was just, okay, tell, uh, tell my husband for us to go to the village. My husband refused, like, go to the village. Somebody okay, that's... you suggested yes, that you that people should go back go to, to the village, the village. So to I your can... husband. Yes, my husband's village, so that to stay away from this issue. But my husband is not somebody that, like, he cannot go to the village and start his life. People will look at him that they think that he's, en he's, he's enjoying. Really, we are suffering. We are suffering this state because of the state of 
of the country and all that. So I don't. I was so kind of frustrated. My husband again went to this man and tell him that ah, he wants to yeah, look at look at look and this man advised my husband that we should not go to the village. And because the man advised him based on what he's getting from me. Okay, and your husband did not know that you are sleeping with this man. Yes, he yes. still went and told this man yes. that you are suggesting you people should go back to the village. Yes. Hi. So my husband like saying that we are not going to the village. He took advice from the. I was like. What am I going to do? I became frustrated because at this point, I don't know what else to do. I don't want my husband to know the situation between me and this man. So there is this friend of mine that I confided in because I've known her for some time. She's not married. She's a single person. So I called her. I told her, look at, look at what I'm going to look at my situation. I'm frustrated. This thing is choking me. I don't know what to do. So she advised me not to have anything to do with the man. So I hit I, I to her advice. I stopped. But the situation became worse. That I don't know what else to do. And look, going to this, when I was with this man, he gave me money a lot. But not right now. My children, I can't feed them. They can't eat food. I can't do it even to buy a gary to give them. I have no money. My husband, my husband, I've been looking for a job. No other way for him to go. There's nothing for me to do. So I now call my friend. I said, look, I look at this. You know, I don't know what else to do. I have to go back to this man. My children will not have hunger. Me, I can enjoy, but my children cannot. I cannot enjoy seeing my children suffering like this. She said, no, that I cannot. I shouldn't should go to, back to the man. That she will help me. That she too, she seems to hook up. And she's a professional uh, hook up. Uh, uh, she's a, prof a professional hook up lady. So I hit her. I sent her me to be going to this man. I should do it outside. Your I, friend is telling you. Yes. Okay. So she wants you to stop and be doing the men, the men hook up now. Yes. That's, Which she is doing. Yeah. That's how I became myself. Became I went into the hook up fully. So I hit her hard back. Okay. So I I went home though. I I pound her over. This was like. Okay, I think this is better. I saw me to be going to this man. I want to enslave my life. One day, one day, the truth still come out. I better do it far away from my family. So my husband will know that I'll do it on a low key. So she started giving me different, different people's contacts. She started hooking me, hooking me up with different, different men. And I started making money. But the making money is not that I go every time. Once the money I make finished, I will go back again. I'll call her. She'll give me another contact. I'll go. That's how I'll be doing the hookup to take care of my family. I started a little provision uh, business. But the business is not even good because I don't know because the money is not a pure money or whatever. I don't know. The business was not going. The shop is not. People will come and buy. They will not pay and all those stuff. And me, I like, I don't really know. So I was like, also, that's okay. I don't, I, I, I now because that's okay. She, she, she kept up giving me contact. I kept, kept on meeting different, different men. So not knowing that this is my friend, because she's a professional uh, hookup person as she is, she took us, she know this man. I've told her about how this man used to give me money, his kind of money used to give me. Who, who? The, my friend. This, that man, that my husband's friend, I used to give money. So I told this my friend about him, everything. She was the one that advised me not to go to the man again. She started having an She started not even an affair, started going, sleeping with this man. And now, tell this man, because when I stopped sleeping, when I stopped going to the man, the man was like wondering why. I stopped coming to him. Because he knows that I cannot, I cannot survive. My family cannot survive without him. So it was one day I said, was waiting that ah, I will come back, I will come back. But not me not coming back now. It was when my this my friend. I think maybe they have their sleeping together, whatever together. And my friend opened her mouth and tell this man that because I'm seeing another man. That's why I did not come to see him again. So this man was like, eh. So they now decided to plan to set me up. And because this hookup party is like, because it's like kind of more in that entry me and then I was not even thinking, I've not even thinking of the consequences that is coming up. So there is this, uh, this man that called me for hookup, which I went. I never knew it was a setup, though. I went. So, and this hook -up, this place is not even a hotel, it was his man house. So we went there for the hookup. After everything, I didn't know that, they, after everything, this man, was my friend, now came to the house. I was like, what is he doing there? Does he know this man? So it was, it was, I thought maybe they were a friend, though. I just come to see the man. I, was, I felt some kind of shame, though. Although I'm not even uh, proud of what I'm doing. But I'm doing it because, I don't know, because these days, if you go to, even if you go to market, I go with 10,000 or 20,000, I will not even come back with anything. The money is too small. But I have to just meet up to take care of my, my children is my, 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 my priority, to take care of them. This man just came there and left. I thought that that was the end of the, ma the matter. So after I'm not even going to him again. The next one I got home that day, this man now called me. I said that he knows why I stopped coming to him because he now knows that because I'm now sleeping with different, different men. That's why I stopped coming to him. But he showed me, I was like, show me. Before I know it, I saw a message pump on my phone, a video of me sleeping with this man. Ha. With who? 
the, the, the last my man I did hook up with, I was like, I was shocked to my marrow, to my bone. I was so ashamed of myself. And it now. Then who video you that day? I, 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 and I find out that it was he, he paid the man to call me as, as a hook up person now so I can sleep with me. And the man agreed, collected the money. And that was why he came to the house that day. But me, on my own sense, I didn't know that it was, he, he said he, it was a setup for the man to come for him to come there so they video everything i was like so this was a setup and it was my friend that i trusted so much that she also caught she, she didn't open her mouth to tell this man this all this thing this will not, have, will not have happened to me so the man like now he's not threatening that uh, you, you, if i don't come back to him if i don't comply with him he's going to send the, the video to my husband right now as i'm like this my brothers and sisters i know that i did bad i know that hook up is not the best thing to do I know that as a married woman, I'm not supposed to sleep with another man. But if you are in my shoe, I'm not really saying if you are in my shoe because the kind of situation I am, I don't pray for anybody to be in that shoe. Looking at children, not going to school, running up and down, roaming the streets, nothing. The solution came up and I take it. And now this man is threatening me that if I don't come back to him, if I don't come back to him, that you show my husband and you expose me, this one, that one. That's why I started to come up, to come out now. For you my brothers and sisters to please help me as i am right now i don't know where to go that right or left or front my marriage is at stake my my children say they won't find out this whole thing say to be a mess in a mess in my life so please i want you guys to help me give me advice on what to do i know that god use you people through my sister here to help me out of this mess that I put myself into thank you okay so what i understand now is that since you stopped going for this man eh the man now set you up yes. with another person, and you did not know you went there. I didn't know that it was his, I didn't know that it was a setup because he's angry that I had, he waited for me to come back and I didn't go back to him. And now he has now know the secret. The reason, the reason that I did not go back to him again was me going out with another man. So he's out to destroy me. He's out to destroy my marriage. He's out to destroy everything I built. And you say this man is still your girlfriend is going after this man now. They are still together. They are still together. He's still so going this is your girlfriend. Me. Can she help you? Why, Jesus Christ? I don't even know what to think. So this man has the goal to video you, set you up. And you too, that is even doing this thing. I don't want to blame you like you have begged us not to blame you. But now, how are you going to do this thing? Because the next thing now, this man would... Okay, now, will you go back to this man so that he will save that video? For me, I don't want to go back. The one, video one, is in his phone now. One man is telling me to go back to save your marriage. The other is telling me... Blackmailers never stop because you want to use that video to keep on blackmailing me, and you will keep going back and to I'll him. Keep going back and to this time around, he will not be giving you anything again. For how long am I even going to continue? You don't supposed to start this thing from beginning. See, eh? there is one thing I want to say. Some people are in Lagos, some people are in Abuja, some people are PH, different states, and when things turn around, they will still be suffering in that state. Where you have a place in your village, your hometown, you're supposed to run to at the moment. Cool your head. Let things be in order again before you start thinking of going back to that state. They will keep managing. They will, they will keep managing. They prefer not eating in that state. They prefer starving their children. When you have a home, you are not paying for house rent there. If that's the only alternative, why not go back to your hometown first? At least sometimes, let us, as in, let men listen to their wife. Because you brought this idea to your husband. Had it been you people travel down to the village for the main time? But the man, no, my husband is someone that he doesn't do anything to start telling that man. He always likes to seek advice from, from him. The, from him. He doesn't know that man, the man is not even his friend. Yes. Hey. He just, even the thing that the thing that the man is giving us in the house, he thought this, uh, everything is free based on, being uh, his man is his friend, mm. I respected okay, him. Okay, sometimes the man will bring you, uh, yes. something to the he house. He gives it to my children. Hey, so, but they never knew that I was one paying the price. Hmm. So when Jesus. I so I try to run away to pull it so I can go to the village, but and my this, husband had a lot of shame. Uh, of saying people say, "Oh, they say that he has money before and he's now return to the even if he's fine." I say, "Let us go, but I I don't know. I don't know." Hmm. And this your your uh, husband's friend there. This one a complete full enemy, a human form. So this man has money. He couldn't think of helping your husband that is his friend to get back to his feet again. The man did not think of giving you people money to start something doing. He chose to be sleeping with you. 
So how are you going to do now? My problem is the video that this man is holding. The next thing now, he will scatter your marriage and move on. But another thing is that, do you think that this man would like to leak this secret? He wouldn't want your husband to know that he's also sleeping. So he's threatening you for nothing. Don't go back to him. Let him do his worst. I pray so. Yes, pray now. So. Or you, what do you think? If he wants to report you, he's also reporting himself. And do you know he would not want you? If he reports you, don't you have his chat in your phone? The way you people normally meet. I used to delete them. So my husband will not see them. Because I don't have... You don't um, have any evidence. I don't have any evidence to use against him. Because I don't want my husband to see our chat. Oh, so I normally delete it. you used to do it. chat and delete? Yes. So my husband will not see it. I don't want anything to offend him at all. Though now that he's talking to you, you don't have the chat. I don't have it. The recent chat, Inko. You one? need to set this man up as well. Do you get? Uh, uh, hey, wait, and the, hey, God, telling your husband that this kind of thing has been happening, no, it won't be easy on him. Eh? The man will be so disappointed. And you need to stop all these things. I thought you said you have started business. The business, no, they go. The business is not moving. I don't maybe because which business? One, I started provision business. Okay. More. It's not that I have a shop like that, but in front of a uh, house there. The business is not moving. This one come and say, I'll pay tomorrow. I'll not see pay. Money to go to market. Nothing. From there, my, I and my children, so we see it's my family. So we see it's from there. Your husband never they do anything at all? Nothing. Nothing. Don't submit application here and there, here and there. Tire. No one is coming up. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And you people have house in the village, Abby? We have house now. Uh, we have house. That's why I said we should go back to the village. Our house. We are not, we are not going to pay rent. It's our house. Nobody goes to push us from there. But he refused. Based so, on the advice the man gave you. Mm, so now you still pay house rent, children's school fees and everything. We are seeing own house rent like this. I'm talking to you now. We are, we are seeing own house has expired like, like six months extra already. And your husband, what is he saying? He said he's begging the landlord and I should give him time. I give him time. So I don't know how many time the man is going to give him. Hey, this also. Now, wow. Hmm. My own is I don't go back to that man. If your friend wants to help you, two of you should set that man up and have his own video too. Not only him know how to carry video up and down. That your girlfriend, if she really wants to help you, or is it that the, your girlfriend used Ty to bring you out of the way so that she will enter? I think I, I think the last uh, chat, I think I had the last chat. You still have the last chat? Yes, I think I had the last chat. Start that, from there. When he was telling me that since I didn't, I didn't want to uh, continue with him again, that he's going to deal with me. I think that should be enough for well, me. Well, you know that is a very big disgrace, Seth. Uh, if your husband should notice that this is thing. It. That is the issue. So just stop talking to that man and see. Let's, let's see him. Let him do his worst. Let me tell you, this man will not like to expose himself. He's doing this thing to drag you back. He can never do anything. And you need to stop. How can you be in a room with a guy? You don't know that they set camera there. And they, they have to video you from beginning to end. You don't know. The man can even deny you. He can deny you. That's the condition I find myself. Just stop all these things. Yeah. The fact that since that time, your husband has not found any other job and he still wants to stay here in Lagos. I don't know. He might have his reasons, Sash. The reason is that man. Only that man. Yes. And the same man that don't want, to, don't want him to travel back to the village yes. still don't want to help him. So what's the essence of having a friend that will not help you? I will post your video, but my please don't do this thing again. And I wouldn't want to blame you anymore or, you know, any other thing past this one that I've talked now. Just stop it. Manage that your business like that. And you know that the money you used to start that business is not a good money. So if the business is not moving well, you should not be surprised. Do you get? Just keep on praying. Beg God for forgiveness. If you change, not the one you will change today, tomorrow you will start again. That one, no, go, no you know, fully at all. Now, who knows whether your children knows what you are doing? So now that, how do you normally leave the house? Your husband knows they see you. And sometimes I'll tell him that I'm going to market. You see, I've tried doing that with small business. Uh, and I'll take time. Sometimes I'll say, okay, maybe I'm going to church for a prayer. For, and my friend is taking me out for a church for prayer because he knows, he knows that my friend. Too. So if they use prayer, they lie. They go forgive me. Now, see, madam, you're not going to understand. You're not going to understand. Hmm. I never hear say married women, they do who couple. I never hear. I'm just hearing it for the first time. Hey, but I beg, stop. I'm begging you, stop. God will make a way. Amen. We'll go talk off camera, Sha. Amen. So, guys, please, let's advise her. Mm. Now, wow, is well. Thank, thank you for watching this video. Please help me share this video as well.